Hey, I'm Caramel. Welcome to my review for Rocket League backwards compatibility on the PS5. Okay, here we go. So Rocket League has received no update specifically for the PS5. So what that means is that the PS5 will be running the game through backwards compatibility mode. The PS5's backwards compatibility mode is able to use some of the PS5's new power, but not all of it. Since Rocket League has received no update for the PS5, in theory, it should be running exactly the same way it did on the PS4 Pro, with any possible frame rate dips being smoothed out by the PS5's extra power. But is that really what's happening here? Well, short answer is yes. Rocket League runs at a checkerboarded 4K resolution on PS5, just like it did on PlayStation 4 Pro. So it's not a true native 4K, but it's pretty close, and you'll be hard-pressed to find any differences. The resolution doesn't change or anything, it stays there, and it creates a very nice looking image. I know it's a checkerboard 4K image because Digital Foundry, link to their channel in the description below, they did a video on the PS4 Pro version of the game a few years ago, and they showed it running at 4K checkerboard resolution. And Rocket League has recently updated their website to include details on how Rocket League runs on next generation consoles, and on the PS5 they list it as retaining that checkerboarded 4K resolution. But what's the frame rate like? Well, on the PlayStation 4 Pro, it ran at 60 FPS, same with the base PS4, and it's no different here. On PS5, is 60 FPS. Now, what's interesting is that the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X have both received updates to allow the game to run at 120 FPS on those consoles, but the PS5 has not gotten an update like that. It still runs at 60. Now, I believe it could easily, you know, do 120 FPS if there is a proper PS5 update for it. We've already seen games like Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War running at 120 FPS on PlayStation 5. So, Rocket League could easily run at 120 FPS. There just need to be a proper patch for it to do that. But so far, there is not one yet, and there's no word on when one is coming. But in terms of frame rate stability, I could not get to drop at all. It retained that lock 60 FPS from the PS4 Pro experience, and it didn't even drop in split screen mode, which I tried out. Which is what I expected because Modern Warfare runs out locked 60 FPS in split screen mode on the PlayStation 5. So I wasn't expecting Rocket League split screen to drop frames, and it does not. So the resolution and frame rate are both pretty good turnouts. It is a little bit disappointing to see there are no update for 120 FPS support. But honestly, most people probably wouldn't use that anyways because uh, consoles are typically hooked up to TVs, not monitors. And most TVs don't have 120 FPS support. Only ones that have come out in the past year or two do. But are there any weird graphical bugs or glitches while playing this game in backwards compatibility mode? Which is what can happen sometimes on the PS5 playing PS4 games, like I've seen in some cases. But in this game, I've not noticed anything weird or strange that doesn't happen on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, I did think that the screen splice reflections on the grass coming from objects in the background were a little bit weird. They don't really seem right or like realistic. They seem kind of off and just like just way too much cr stuff that doesn't match up everywhere uh, like you'll see here but I went back and played the game on PS4 and that happens there too so I guess in general the screen space reflections for the game are pretty bad not a not a problem backwards compatibility the loading times are also slightly improved over PlayStation 4 Pro and uh, again backwards compatibility mode can use all the power of the PS5 especially its new SSD so loading times aren't typically increased too much in backwards compatibility mode. But it is improved slightly while playing on the PS5. Overall, the Rocket League experience on PS5 is strong with a nice resolution, stable frame rate, and no weird graphical bugs or glitches to report. The loading time is also slightly improved, and so the Rocket League experience for PlayStation 5 users is very good. Really all I'd like to see for this game on the PS5 is having the checkerboard 4K resolution bumped up to native 4K, and also adding 120 FPS support. So I think that is it. I think that's all there is to say about Rocket League on the PlayStation 5. It's a nice game. I like it. I've played it for about 200 hours, mostly on the Switch, even though I'm still not very good at it. But I think it's fun, and I'm enjoying playing it on the PS5. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking at Rocket League on the PlayStation 5. If you like this video, found it helpful, informative, entertaining anyway, uh, Please leave a like, it helps support the channel, subscribe for more PlayStation 5 backwards compatibility reviews, and I'll see you next time. Bye!